Hi, Hiram here. The other day I did my first boil test on my Evernew titanium alcohol stove with the titanium crossbar pot stand. Uh, I had made the comment that with this setup you couldn't do a simmer like you could on the Trangia. I got a comment from Jack Graybear where Jack Graybear said, Hiram, the Evernew stove was designed to simmer by putting the pot directly on the stove and blocking the upper holes. Just like so. Uh, he says, this works only, oh, this works as only the lower holes can make flames. Sounds weird, but I've been doing it for some time. So I thought maybe I'd try that again today. This time I'm going to measure my alcohol, see where it, it forms. I'm going to use two fluid ounces again and see how it relates to the two fluid ounces measurement on this thing. Boy, I can't talk today. It's so hot in here. It's almost up to 83 degrees. I'm hoping the camera won't shut off again like it did last time. Uh, <clears throat> in the instructions that came with this, one side, side Japanese, the other side English, it didn't say anything about that. So that's a shame. So what, what I'll do today is try this and see what happens. So let me go get my water prepped. I got to do it at the last minute because room temperature itself will bring it up. But I'll get my water prepped, get my methanol in here, two fluid ounces, and I'll be right back for a test. Okay, I've got my water prepped. Oh, I got to go fast. It's going up. The temperature in here is 84 degrees and this is climbing as I watch. So let me light this. Okay, I put a measure two fluid ounces in here and it was as cl close as you can get to the line that's marked in here for two fluid ounces so that was pretty good let's see can we see this and yeah, we got a flame there get the burners going I watched this last night remember I had said that I'm not sure about these upper inner holes what they do once the bottom holes are burning I don't see flames coming out of them. Okay, there we go. We got that. So I got two cups of water here sitting at 61 degrees. And let's see where this goes. Okay, we're at a little bit more than two minutes into the test. Temperature's up to 140 degrees. Uh, there was humidity all over the pot, but now you can see it's kind of burned off. So not a bad flame here, but again, Looking at this, it looks like all of the flame is coming from the lower outer holes, nothing from the top. So, let's see where it goes from here. There we have 210, 211, 212, and 527. Okay, so that was two cups of water starting at... 61 degrees came to a full boil of 212 degrees Fahrenheit in 5 minutes 27 seconds yesterday when I or the other day when I did this it took 5 minutes and 40 seconds so that little bit of time could be the difference because the room temperature is up to almost 85 degrees now so now what I'm going to do is take this off take the pots yeah come on if I can Ah, it doesn't want to get let go. Hang on. Let's see what I... Alright, come on. There we go. Okay, so I've taken the pot stand off. Let me put this back on. Huh. Okay, so now it's on that. Let's just see how long this burns this way. Okay, we're working on about 10 minutes, 20 seconds. Uh, hopefully you can see this is an interesting little flame. It's not like the big long flames that were there before. I'm not sure if this is burning any cooler or what because the temperature of the water... Here, let me see if I can show you. Temperature of the water is still setting at uh, 213 degrees Fahrenheit. It hasn't gone up or down. Might be interesting to do a test of 
seeing how long I could, how soon I could get this to a boil with this flame, might give us a better idea of how hot or cold this this burner is going now. So, last time when I did this, it burned for another 12 minutes to 18 minutes to 15 seconds. I'm at 11 minutes now. Be interesting to see how long this lasts. So, hopefully, I can hold up in the heat here. So, be right back. Okay, the flames are finally starting to go down. Just little bumps there. I guess I should have put the camera on this. Going. Going. Alright. Let's say gone. 3247. 32 minutes 47 seconds. Oops, wrong one. Holy cow. Okay, so that was two cups of water starting at 61 degrees, possibly 62, depending. My thermometer just isn't that accurate. It was on the rise. But anyway, came to a boil in 5 minutes 27 seconds. Then I took the pot stand off, which was a little bit tougher than I thought it would be, and put the pot right on there. And it continued to burn to 32 minutes 47 seconds. That's almost eight, 18 minutes of uh, simmer time. On the other test, it only lasted to 18 minutes 15 seconds, which is, that's what, like 14 minutes difference? Yeah, no, yeah, 14 minutes difference. Yikes. Apparently, two fluid ounces is too much to put into here. Maybe I should redo this test using one fluid ounce and see if all you wanted was boiled water um, you wouldn't be wasting all the alcohol because the instructions on this does say you gotta burn it out unlike the Trangia I think that's why my Trangias are getting cracks in them because of those tests that I did where I run them out until they're empty I don't think that was good for the uh, bronze okay so that's my ever new titanium alcohol stove using uh, Jack Graybear's idea that you put the pot right on the burner for simmer. Interesting. Uh, it's hot in here. I should do a test <clears throat> where I don't even use the pot stand, just the two cups of water, and once this gets going, I'd have to see if I can put a pot on there right away and that it wouldn't put it out, but try a boil test of it, just the whole thing just on, setting on the burner and see what kind of a boil time we get with that. I think maybe if I do any more tests on this, I may have to take it inside down to my electronic bench. It's getting too hot in here. It's up to 85 degrees. Well, that's because of the heat of this, but it's last I looked, it was 92 degrees outside. This is Pennsylvania. This isn't the kind of temperatures we should get around here. So, I thank you for watching. I thank Jack Graybear for his comment on this. I thank you for watching. I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions. And as always, watch for my buddy Max, who's inside with the air conditioning. Bye now.